and there's so many things to talk about. I don't know if I love it, honestly. Okay, this is interesting. It is right up my alley. Ooh, might have to pick this one up. Honestly, I have no words for these. What is up? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Gabby. Today's video, as you might have guessed it from the title, is going to be another buy or buy. If you're new here, this is a monthly series that I do where I basically go through Lululemon's new releases and tell you whether I would buy them or not. I honestly love doing this series and you guys seem to love it too. I also go live on TikTok every single week for the Lululemon new releases. They happen at about 2.15 Eastern Standard time every Tuesday so if you want to keep up with all of the drops live then go follow me on TikTok but I also post little shorts here on YouTube as well so you can keep up weekly I also have a Google Doc that I list everything on for new releases and markdowns so be sure to check that out I'll have it linked down below in the description I think Lululemon has been killing it recently with all of the new releases so I'm very excited to chat about them with you today so without further ado let's jump in and get started today's drop was honestly so big and there's so many things to talk about so I'm gonna try and keep it short for the sake of this video but like I said I'll have some things linked down below as well as my general like shop Lululemon link so you can shop anything from Lululemon through that link so I will have that in the description for your shopping convenience and if you do shop through it thank you it helps support my channel here but let's hit screen record and start chatting through all of the new releases from today which is May 23rd is that today Yes. So the first thing here, we have some new Track That High Rise shorts in the five inch version. I know a lot of people have been asking for Track That uh, restock and new colors. Personally, I'm not a huge Track That short fan, so I'm gonna be skipping these ones. I do love the Hottie Hots personally, but we do have lip gloss and summer glow. Also a few new mini belt bags. Honestly, I feel like these ones are kind of too small for me to really be practical. But again, if you don't need to carry around a lot of items, then this could be like a good option for you. Really nice for travel as well. I think it still fits a standard like US passport in it. So if you just needed something small to like wear on your waist, that is a great option. We have a new dress. This is the back vent tank dress and now if you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while I don't love the front seam I don't know why they do that like it's straight down the middle which I find not that cute but I do like the back of this it has like a little kind of cut out to it which I think is cute apparently it has a pocket so there also is that I do believe this is more of a cotton material it says silky soft viscose fabric so it is supposed to be more of a fluid drape i guess but kind of cute i feel like it has potential other than the giant front seam which i don't love okay next we have some new inner glow shorts i love these i'm unfortunately not fitting into mine right now because i am seven months pregnant if you didn't know but pre-pregnancy and i'll probably wear them postpartum even as well are so so cute i absolutely love them and this dark lavender color is everything i recently bought the align shorts in this color and i'm obsessed i just love purples as you can tell but they also have bone if you're more of a neutrals person again great summer staple these are a little bit more cheeky i will say depending on how you want them to fit i did find the size two a little bit more baggy for me which i didn't love i like them to be a little bit more fitted so i do go down to a size zero but i do recommend the inner glow shorts then we have the pace rival in lip gloss again i I'm calling it now. This is like the color of the summer. So pretty, so cute. Also hot heat. This one is a very vibrant red color. I have a love-hate relationship right now with the Pace Rivals. I wish they made them high rise. I do find the shorts as well. A little bit tight on the thighs, but it, too big in the waist if I went up to a four. So I feel like they're not really fitting me the best, but they are like a great skirt for golf or tennis. We also have another new dress. This is the Rib Soft Stream Slim Fit Tank Dress. Again, I feel like this one really has potential. I don't think it's going to have a lot of stretch to it, so it might not work for me. Obviously, pregnant with a baby bump, I need something super stretchy. I don't think this one's going to give a ton of stretch, 
but what a cute dress for summer i love the silhouette of this again it's going to be a slim fit so keep that in mind for sizing you might want to size up or stay true to size depending on how you want it to fit but honestly i think this is such a cute dress i probably wouldn't get the black because it does look kind of faded but this flush pink or pink peony i think would be so so pretty for like a little summer i don't know garden party or just like wearing it out and about the all years crop tee is probably one of my favorites i am sadly not wearing them right now because it looks kind of dumb with the baby bump but heathercore ultralight gray is one of my favorite neutral favorite staple colors from lululemon so great to see they have it in the all yours crop tees we also had a ton of lab items and if you guys know i'm not a huge fan of the lab items i do find them pretty pricey for what they are and very fashion forward which is not really my style to be honest but these are the stretch cupro slit pants cupro am i saying that right very 70s vibe i would say not my cup of tea, especially for $170, but I feel like these could work. I know Gen Z is all about like the fun pants right now. I would consider these fun pants and, you know, depending on the way you style them, maybe it could have potential. But again, for that price point, I definitely think you could find something a little bit more affordable. Again, yeah, the Lab Luxe Dream Deep V Bra kind of cute but i don't know the lab bras just don't really do it for me i don't find they are really that supportive and they just fit kind of funky this asymmetrical layered tennis skirt kind of fun kind of weird i don't know how to feel about it to be honest this is hot heat and lip gloss and i don't know if i really like those colors like it's just Functional, maybe, but like, could you really wear that to play tennis? You know, if you like played in tennis competitions where there's like a dress code, does that meet dress code? I don't know, I don't play tennis, but I feel like if you play recreationally, then yes. But otherwise, mm, I don't know about those ones, you guys. <laughs> Again, lip gloss, lots of lip gloss and Tidal Teal and this new Cyan Blue. Honestly, I love the colors for summer. It is my favorite time to buy pieces from Lululemon. And I definitely spend a lot more in the summer <laughs> than I do in the fall and winter because of the colors. I just love all the bright things. Okay, this is interesting. The Tight Fit Lined Long Sleeve Onesie. Personally, I just don't really understand why we have like long sleeve and shorts. I just feel like we're kind of confused on what temperature we're dressing for. Yeah, I don't know where I don't know where to go with this one. How would you even style this as well? Like I have no vision for this piece. I just feel like it fits this model really awkwardly too. You can see like where it's pulling and it just like looks awkwardly proportioned. Like it looks really gapy and flowy like right in the small of her back but like everywhere else, it's so tight. Uh, for $128, it's gonna be a pass for me. Oh, these soft stream shorts though, I wish I could fit into these right now, but again, the waistband is not super stretchy and I don't think they're gonna work like as a maternity piece, but these are so cute. If I was not pregnant right now, I would definitely pick these up. I'm not a huge fan of the soft stream usually, but I think I'd make an exception for this color. We have a new color. This is called Wine Berry. It looks very fall. I hope to see more of this as we get into, you know, September, October. This would be such a pretty color in leggings. We also have the crop defined jacket in Twilight Rose and lip gloss and bone. Honestly, I love Twilight Rose. Oh, I just, I don't know. I have three crop defined jackets and I literally never wear them. I just don't think I love the length and I just like haven't really worn my defined jackets that much. So for that reason, it's gonna have to be a pass. Oh, this all aligned midi dress. I have this in black. Great for maternity. I got my true size zero, so it's gonna work like postpartum as well. They also have velvet dust, which is such a pretty color. Ooh, might have to pick this one up as well. I actually really love the dress. I think it's very flattering and again, something that could be dressed up or down. Okay, pistachio hottie hots. These also come in the high rise. This is like a brighter and lighter version of Scream Green from last year. I know I get a lot of like questions about 
how pistachio actually looks. It is pretty much this bright green that is depicted in this stock photo. I know the Swiftly looked a little bit more greeny blue, but it, no, it's like bright, bright green. Uh, we also have a new color called Vintage Rose, and this is in our Wonder Train. This is specifically cropped with pockets, but they do have other like variations of Wonder Trains in the Vintage Rose color again i think this is a nice fall color i don't know if it's like too summery so i don't know if it's like ahead of its time that should be coming out in the fall but honestly i think it's really pretty it has potential i like it paired with like bone white black aside from that i'm not 100 sure what i would necessarily pair with it so i'm gonna hold off see if it comes out in the lines because i think that's what i'd prefer right now anyways this tote bag and i'm not a huge fan of like lululemon totes and bags and stuff like i have a few of them but i'm not like a diehard bag collector but in terms of like tote bags i actually think this is really cute kind of gives me like very like varsity kind of vibes but honestly i kind of like it and for 58 that's not bad that's not bad this everlux asymmetrical tennis top now i've heard a lot of good things about it for me i'm trying to avoid anything with a built-in bra at this point because my size is just changing too rapidly but i don't know how i feel about like the one thick strap and the thin strap and then them coming together in the back like personally i just don't really get it i know a lot of people are loving this online and on tiktok but i'm gonna have to take a pass on it cotton terry wristbands ooh, and sunny coral honestly i would not use these as like actual sweatbands i would purchase these to use for washing my face because it is cotton terry so it's like a towel and it would absorb the water that like might be running onto your wrist and down your arms so that would be the only reason i would purchase this not really to work out but instead to like wash my face with this French Terry v-neck romper now I'm not a huge fan of the French Terry but I think this romper would have potential it kind of looks like a Ritzia vibe something I'd see at a Ritzia but I don't know if the proportions I'm like a little skeptical if it would actually like fit properly especially with the V I don't love v-necks and I just feel like the shoulder part might be like off in some way but I think this has potential all right, next we have a new item in the Soft Dream collection, and this is the ribbed Soft Dream cropped tank top. I honestly wanted to try this, but I don't think, again, it's gonna work like maternity wise. So I have to hold off and kind of wait and see, but I've heard good reviews on it so far. It does look really cropped though. I will say that, which I know obviously it's supposed to be cropped, but it's like really cropped. And I'm not a huge fan of like having like an awkward amount of skin showing between like my shorts and my top. I don't know if I love it, honestly. Okay, we have a new Blissfield shoe. This is the Blissfield trail running shoe. So this is more designed for hiking. It is supposed to have more like grippy things on the bottom, on the sole of the shoe. Honestly, I kind of want to try these, but since I'm not hiking this summer, I feel like it's kind of pointless to buy them because I won't be able to try them out like truly hiking. But if you don't need actual hiking boots, I feel like this would be a really great alternative or if it's like an easier hike that so you don't necessarily need ankle boots or need like full ankle support. I think this would be honestly a really good option. It says that it has more of a protective film for added durability. It has directional traction and a lugged outsole to enhance your grip from road to trail. I feel like, again, these have potential, but I just don't have use for them right now. So if you guys have tried them, let me know down below in the comments if you like them and what your thoughts are on them. They do have a 30 day free trial, which is great. All yours tees, these have been super popular all of a sudden recently. I feel like this is like the new hyped item is the all yours tees. I personally love them. They've been great for maternity wear. I'm in my same size, so I know I'm going to wear them postpartum as well. They're just a great staple t-shirt. We also have this pleat to street mid-rise skirt. Honestly, I did try this on in store. <laughs> And I would say my proportions aren't really accurate at the moment, but I I don't know. I just don't love the, like small accordion type of pleats. Like I like bigger pleats for me personally. So this one was a no for me. We have more in the V-neck Align bras. I did try this on as well. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous, super soft. I am obsessed with this. This is the CD version, but they also have the AB version. So highly recommend checking this one out. Now this graphic crew, I'm not usually a huge person for graphics, but I think they did a really good job on this one. Plus it's my favorite neutral color from Lululemon, the Heathercore Ultralight Gray, but they also have Lilac Smoke. And I just 
think these are so cute. We have a new full zip. Actually, I don't know, is this new or is this like a restock? Thing. But it is the scuba oversized full zip in bone another neutral color and they brought back the cropped mesh defined jackets They had these last year. Honestly when I tried them on I was not a fan of it. It's a very weird feeling. It's like Almost wearing like a mosquito net. I don't know how else to describe it. It's a little softer than that. It's not like scratchy, but it's just like obviously mesh. So it's not like really adding a layer to anything, if that makes sense. Like it's not gonna add warmth. Didn't love it. I just don't understand the point of it. Um, more lab things. This Swift Wide Leg Mid-Rise Pant. Again, I feel like mid-rise is coming back, which scares me a little because I don't think I can go back there. I don't want to go back there. I like my high rise, but a lot of people have been asking for mid rise pants. I feel like this is very like, I don't know, Gen Z or like very mom style. I, like, I don't even know where to go with these, to be honest. We also have a new scuba color. They've, they're bringing out like all the light pinks lately. This is called Meadow Sweet Pink. Now you might be wondering, it's so close to flush pink and strawberry milkshake, but I would say this one is definitely more purple blue undertoned, a lot more cool toned. It also is like more pink peony ish, but lighter and brighter, I would say. So flush pink, strawberry milkshake are more of like warm toned baby pinks. This one's more of a cool toned baby pink. So there is a difference, but if you already own strawberry milkshake slash flush pink, then I probably wouldn't get this one. I did end up ordering this actually, spoiler alert. Just for color comparisons, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to end up keeping it, depending on how close they actually are in person. I've seen some comparisons online. They do look different, but I just don't know if I can like justify having both. We'll see. Stay tuned for an upcoming haul. We also have a new combo in the dual pouch wristlet, and I think this is the best color combo that they've come out with. It is pastel, pink, and twilight rose. This is so tempting, honestly. Like, I don't even need a dual pouch wristlet, and I have no use for one, but I just, I, I love the color combo. Anyways, they're, they're a little bit small. I, I don't think they're that functional, honestly. We also have this lab jackered shirt dress this is giving me a little bit of um i don't even know what what kind of vibe is this i don't even like curtains it kind of like why are the pockets elastic like have elastic in that like it just i don't know looks kind of like your old grandma's tablecloth that you maybe made into a dress okay for 150 dollars i i think we could do better and we also have more new loon mesh shorts again they came out with these last year in like graphite gray lemon sorbet and black i believe and they're back so basically it's like an aligned short with like a mesh overlay on them i tried them on last year and i honestly did not love them personally but apparently they sold out really quickly and everybody liked them it's either like a really hit or miss thing for me, it's a mess. I just don't understand the mesh overlay style, trend, whatever you wanna call it. Ooh, look at this throwback tank. This actually looks like a true throwback item. Like the other ones, I feel like they just kind of updated and then made it new Lou. But this looks like actually OG throwback tank top. What did they make this out of? Oh, uh, they also made this out of Nulu, which is a shame. I wish they made this out of like Luxstream or even Everlux so that you could do like more of a workout in them. Because I feel like the old school tank tops were made from like Luon or Luxstream, which were a little bit more designed for working out. Nulu is really delicate, so it's not the best and not the most sweat wicking. I actually kind of, I kind of like the throwback vibe we got going on there. We also have the Luxstream Mid-Rise Straight Leg Trouser. Ooh, okay, okay. I could see these working as like a work pant. Haha, <laughs> working as a work pant. But like as slacks or something, like the back pockets look dressy. They look like a dress pant. They do have more of that elastic -y waistband in the front, which might not be great if you have to like tuck in a shirt. It doesn't look as professional, I would say. Plus mid-rise, mm, we already discussed how I feel about that. But you can tuck the actual draw strings to the inside so they don't have that which looks a little bit more dressy i would say so if you work somewhere maybe business casual maybe give these a go we do have a new color called medium forest a lot of people like the gold accent zipper on that and i would also agree 
I think this would look very nice with Vintage Rose. Again, kind of getting more into that fall color palette. I feel like it's a little premature being it only the end of May, but I feel like we'd see more medium forest kind of as we transition into fall. So maybe later this summer. This item is new. I don't think I touched on this in my last buyer buy, but this is the Align dress. Maybe I did, I can't remember. But this is honestly so cute, perfect for summer, like a beautiful athleisure dress and it fits so nicely. They came out with flush pink and Hawaiian blue. They also have the dark lavender color. I did try this on in black in a size four and although it kind of fit maternity wise, it's not something that I would pick up right away. I hope this is still around by the time my size is kind of evened out so I can like pick one of these up but it is honestly so, so cute. If you have not tried it, I do highly recommend. This is the lightweight tennis mid-rise track pant. Again, with the mid-rise. Why are all the pants mid-rise? The, wow. Um, honestly, I have no words for these. It's just gonna be a no, thanks. Oh, we have those ribbed soft stream shorts to go again with the tank. But do you see what I mean? How there's like a little bit of like awkward amount of skin showing between the tank and the shorts. That's just something I just don't love. Like I need it to at least meet at the waistband or if I'm just going like sports bra and like shorts kind of thing, then like just be that. I just don't love the like one inch gap i don't know maybe that's just me okay i think we're almost to the end of this new releases but as you can see today's drop was huge so i'm trying to keep it short and just go through like the main highlights they honestly have some cute accessories right now like this water bottle i actually like the logoing of it i think it's very cute uh what else do we have oh this i miss my align tanks you guys i've not worn my align tanks for seven months now because they just don't fit and i will be so sad if they do not fit after this pregnancy, but they do have lilac smoke, Kelly green, like all of these new colors, lip gloss. Like I just wanna buy all of them, but I've bought none of them because they don't fit me right now and I don't wanna purchase any and not know if they're going to fit postpartum. I'm very sad to miss out on that. Got, ooh, powder blue. I haven't tried the one with the lid yet, or the one with the lid, the one with the straw. And I'm kind of curious, but I don't really need any more water bottles at this point. Let me know if you've tried it out. I do like the Back to Life sport bottles though. I do think they keep your water nice and cold and they don't leak, which is great. We also have these French Terry high rise pants. Again, uh, at least they're high rise, but I don't know. Wide leg pants are definitely in right now, which I'm, I'm getting into a little bit. I just, I don't know how to feel. Also, I did try these on. I would say they don't have a ton of stretch in the waistband, they were a little tricky to get on, but they're kind of like loose everywhere else, which is kind of weird for sizing. But again, I don't know if that's just cause like my proportions aren't really the same at the moment. But yeah, I think that sums up all of today's new releases. Oh my gosh, there are so many. I am obsessed with all of the colors and all of the new styles that are coming out. I really wish I could buy more things, but unfortunately just not knowing what size I will be in the next three months versus like postpartum them. It makes it look really difficult to buy things right now, but if you bought something from this drop, let me know what it was down below in the comments and let me know your favorite thing that has dropped recently at Lululemon. If you made it to the end of this video, extra congrats to you. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.